Okay, so you've got your Bamboo Labs printer and you've found the scraper print to print out and you're having some trouble trying to assemble it. Well, this is the video for you. So I believe there can be two types of blades. So this video will be concentrating on the blades I actually have. So those holes are from the outside diameters are 28 millimeters apart. So you want to take the two screws that come with the blade and you want to use the Allen key that came with the printer. You take the side that wasn't printed on the bed and the side with the two nodules and we'll just screw that in until they're just proud of the base of the scraper. And we'll do the same with the second screw. Okay, look, so they're just through just a little bit. So you have the screws holes on the bottom there and you can either put it that way or that way and that's the correct way to do it. So you want these to be clear of that edge there and we shall just start to tighten the screws up and you just want to do them leaving a little bit of a gap there like so. So just so both of them are around about the same distance in. Now if you start to see that that's starting to get a gap in it there then that's not correct. Just undo that a little bit. Hold it down really tight as you're pressing that and just screw in. So that's your aim is to get no gaps in there all around. And you want to leave about a millimetre of space underneath those screws. Now if you're having some trouble with this and you can't just get them to mate up, take out your screws completely and just check that there is no piece of plastic sitting proud, sitting on top of the flat surface here. So if you've got anything there, then you can just use a, a scraper to push away any plastic that might be starting to come out. So then we'll just put these back in again. So just they're a little bit proud there like that. Same with that one. And when you're holding that, you should be able to make it sit with no gap. If you can't make it sit with no gap, you've got these through too far to begin with. So just slacken them off a little bit. And then we'll just tighten these up again. And again, we'll just check that there's no gap. So we'll just hold these very, very firmly and tighten these up till they're about one millimetre or two away from that face. It's hard to hold this and see it on camera at the same time. So there's no gaps all around there, which is good. And we've got one of those is probably just a little bit too far in. We've got to leave enough space for the blade to get in. So now what you do is you just take your blade and you very carefully slip it under those screws like so. So now we've got that on. So we'll just hold that tightly again and we'll just screw that down. Okay, so now it's a little bit tight. So once it's a little bit tight, just turn it a fraction like that because you don't want to strip the plastic threads. So you just keep on winding it till it's tight. Once it's tight, just a little bit and no more. And that's all you want to do. So now there should be no gaps around here, like so. So next, what is the scraper for? So if you had to print something like that, you would just let that one cool down. And once it's cooled down, it's either going to pop off itself naturally, or you're just going to flex the plate and it's going to fall off itself. So it's not for this kind of print. The kind of print it is for is if you've got something like that and you can't get it off the plate or something else that's fairly flat like that and you're trying to get that off the plate when you try and bend it your part is just going to bend along with the part there so you're never going to get that off don't be tempted to use this edge as a wedge it's not for going like that and then levering it up so that's not what it's for you always want to use this at a low angle of attack so you always want it like that you never want to be going down like that that's just too steep. So you always want it as close to the bed as possible. So you want this green bit here resting on the bed. And you, you can always use it as a little bit of a lever there, but try try not to. Once you've got this part released, you're then onto a different style of scraper where you're going to get further in underneath here with a blunter edge so that it's not going to damage your bed. Cheerio.